This is a Ubiquiti switch, uh, 10 XP. Here we have the nice little switch in here. Uh, it has uh, eight regular ports and then two SFP ports right here. All one gigabit. And you have your regular power and optional ground screw on the back. Included in the box is this little nifty paper that shows you everything. Quick QR code to start getting things going. Next is the power cord. So we'll plug this in and start playing around with it and show you what it can do. Alright, I'm just going to plug in my computer into port 1. And it comes on here. Now this is a PoE switch as well, so I'm not getting a PoE light right there. Okay, we're going to log into our edge switch now and get it programmed. We'll log in as UBNT, password UBNT, then we'll change our password here. Now you see the main screen that shows all our active ports. Now we just plugged into the switch with the single port directly into the computer. And then I'll list the rest of the ports, what they're going on. You got your, you know, your, how much traffic's going through and your processor and your percentage of active ports. Now, if you wanted to turn a port on PoE 24 volt, you just change the PoE tab from off to on. And change the rate, see port information right here. Use your cable test option, which is great. See if there's something wrong with the cable. Time to go in and try to figure it out. Uh, here's some advanced settings. Usually, you don't have to do, deal with anything here, but if you really need to uh, isolate the port or try to figure out some other issues, you can come here. Now, here's where you can set up your VLANs. This is still like sort of the old style, not like how they have it in uh, Unify, but you can still come in here and create your different VLANs and tag your ports for which numbers they are. Here I'm just going to create sort of a VLAN 20 just to show you uh, which ones I want to tag. Now I'm just going to delete this. Now we have where we can change our name of our switch, add to UNMS, which we'll do later. Um, enable security server. Uh, we did that, but there's nothing really he can do under the SSH. And then you can update, backup, and also restart your router from here. I mean, we can, you can restart your switch from there. Next is a list of all devices connected to your switch, what port they're on. Um, you can run a ping test. And you can do discovery. So that's it. There's our Edge Switch 10 XP. Here we've added our switch to our rack. And now we're going to just connect our data cable. And then just come over here to port one. So I'm right for our LAN. And then our PC connection. And a PC connection, I'll plug in the port. 